Yo, what they do, Stuart Cox family gang. So you already know what it is. It's your boy D. And it's your girl T. And today, 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 today. Today. We're going to be doing a Christmas, Vlogmas, holiday movies. Right? Top 10. Top 10. Top 10. That sounds like right, right, right. Top 10. Top 10. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to be doing the top 10. Um, You know what I'm saying? We're going to be doing the top five that I like and the top five that she like. And it'll add up 10. So that's what we're going to be doing today. You know, we're going to be trying to do a, I say like a Stuart Cox family game Saturdays and Sundays. We're going to try to kind of like blend that in. You know, try to step our game up a little bit. You feel me? As you can see, we kind of like step the game up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We got some little podcast thing going on here. So, you know, we're trying to take baby steps, you know, to becoming good. <laughs> She's like a little bit content creators. Um, so, um, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. T, so, um, you want to start first? Yeah, ladies first. Go ahead. Yes, I'll start first with my number five. Oh, I'm putting up the number 10, number five video. And the movie is Almost Christmas. And the main character is Danny Glover. Okay, tell a little bit about Almost Christmas. Don't give it away, but give it a little bit. Okay, it's about um an older guy who lost his recently lost his wife, and he tried to pull his family together. Oh, okay, that that that'll be good. Get that much. You want to get too much, too much away. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty good movie. Yes. I watched it before with um uh, with T. He got some um uh, a lot of funny moments in there. Um, it also got if I remember, it got some Monique in there. Yes. Um, shoot, do we got on? Um, don't it got DC Young Fly in that too? DC Young Fly, a yeah. lot of good um actors. Yeah, yeah. I think this is one of like um DC Young Fly's um like one of his first debut of acting that I know of. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the on the acting scene. Um, so, um, yeah, one time for, um, what's it called again? It's called Almost Christmas. Yeah, one time for Almost Christmas. All right. Um, my number, um, first one, I'm gonna go with A Christmas Story with, um, my boy Ralphie. A lot of people might have seen that before. Um, I was going to gonna get tea it's going one that we're gonna watch for the holidays and we get tea in too um she doesn't seem to watch it a couple times i don't think she really paid attention but um she did see the part on uh, because she always hear me say um you're gonna shoot your eye out and uh, also uh you remember i think i showed you the scene where the little boy got his tongue stuck to the pole and I, he was yeah i don't can't remember yeah, I don't think she can remember that much, but that's okay. We are gonna um, that's one of the ones that we are gonna put on the list for her to see. But it's a real good movie. Check it out. It's called A Christmas Story. Got Ralphie on there. Um, man, it it, it got a lot of type people on there. I can't really think of all the names, but um, uh, check it out. It's called A Christmas Story. Okay. Okay, your girl T number four is Last Holiday with your girl. Queen Latifah and she play a character name by the name of Georgia. Okay. And uh Georgia. What a little bit about it. Like a little bit about okay. it. Not too much. A little, a little bit, bit about it. Um she has this book of things that she would like to do, but she's afraid to do them. Okay, we'll just leave it there. We'll leave it. It's a good it's a good movie. Check it out. Um it's a good holiday movie. A lot of people will like it. You should check it out. I know y'all love it. Um, give them the title one more time. It's called Last Holiday. Last Holiday. Okay. Uh, number four for me is going to be The Toy. And that is um, it's Richard Pryor. Um, basically... Um, there's a young man, Richard Pryor, working at a store, 
and his dad he kind of stays with his dad but he's like um kind of like a military brat in a sense i wouldn't say military brat we go like boarding school and stuff like they have a rich dad and he sees um richard Pryor inside the store um really into his job and being animated and very playful so off the back like he sees him and his dad had already went to the store and closed out the whole store for him to get what he want and he tells his dad i want him <laughs> which is richard Pryor. You want him to be like his own personal toy. So, you know, so Richard Pryor get hired for the job. I'll just give you that much of the movie. It's called The Toy. Check it out. Like a real good movie. I know, I know you'll you'll like it. It has a hit song in there. I don't know uh, if you ever heard of it, but you'll look it up. Um tell me you will look it up. You can look it up. Um it goes, I just wanna be your friend. I just wanna be your friend. So that that song right there, that's what I love about the movie. And that song right there, once you see the movie and hear that song, it'll hit different. It'll become on your face. So put it on your top list to check out for the holidays. It's called The Toy. All right. Okay. And my number three movie is The Grinch by um, Jim Carrey. <laughs> He's great. real funny in that movie. He's the main one. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's about someone that a lot of people tease, they put down. So his heart turned cold. Mm. And we'll leave it at that. Cold as ice. Cold as ice. <laughs> Yeah, so the boy hard turn cold as ice, huh? Yeah, I'll piss that boy off. Mm-hmm. The boy saying he ain't giving him no justice. No justice. No, no justice. justice. No, no peace. peace. They ain't giving no justice here, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So, my, what that was for you? Number what? Number three, right? Number three. Okay. So then the number three be for me. The next one to be Christmas Chronicles. Um, it's kind of like a new movie. It's not too old. Like a couple years back, I think they got a part two coming out. Um, and it's gonna be Kurt Russell. He plays um good old Saint Nick Santa, and it's real. It's real cute. So he has to come. Santa Claus has to come save the day. We'll leave it like that. Um, and basically, I guess he's going on his trip, and I think he loses his bag. And a little think a girl or a group of kids find the bag and um they basically have to help him um somehow get Christmas back on track or save Christmas. But I leave it like that. I ain't gonna get too much. Christmas Chronicles became a favorite for me. So that's my number three. Okay. Number two is Polo Express. Polar Express. Polar Express. And the main character is Tom Hanks. He's a um train conductor and he basically gives the kids tickets that lost belief in Christmas. And the saying that I like from the movie is the true spirit of Christmas lies in your heart. Mm, I like that. I like that. I like that. That's dope. And uh, what are some other stuff in it that you kind of like without giving too much? Okay. Um. There's a part where Santa Claus asks one child, "What do they want for Christmas?" And that child gets the first gift, and he asks for the bell. Okay. Awful. Don't don't not so not giving a, a a lot. Just okay, okay. he asks for a bell. Okay, so y'all gotta watch it mm-hmm. to see it to figure <laughs> it out. He has the bell, the ring a ding a ling a ling 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 ling. Um. So, my number two for me, um, it's gonna be Jingle All the Way. It's a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Basically, in this one, um. 
um with um Arnold Schwarzenegger all the families are like coming this year and they're going into the mall and they're trying to get this superhero doll everybody's on a mission to get this doll for their um for their kid and it's kind of like a big adventure um it's a real funny wholesome awesome movie um so check it out i don't want to get too much like i said jingle all the way that's pretty dope all right and my number one is home alone by none other than macaulay karkin yeah and he plays kevin McAllister. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that that's mine too. Keep the change, you filthy, filthy animal. animal. <laughs> <laughs> you got the count to what did he say? You got to the count of three Gee. to get your low down cotton, no good at cactus. <laughs> they said yellow keister <laughs> off my property. And he goes when he goes, he goes one. So you count from one and you count for ten. He counts from um I think he counts from five. Yeah, so he count for five. He might do count for five, mm-hmm. like five or yeah, crazy countdown. And then he, yeah, he skips some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't wanna get out too much. Nobody never seen that, but that should be a cult classic. Everyone should have saw Home Alone. I hope they did. If they didn't, um it's awesome. Like I said. Yes. He had a couple of follow ups to that one. Um, I think T's favorite one. I think the description of it, though, it's, it's about a child that's left home alone. Yeah. And he's on adventure while he's home alone. We'll leave it like that. Mm-hmm. He's on an adventure while he's home alone. I think also T, I think um, it didn't make the list, but he has another one I know that you like too. I think. Uh, Home Alone, New York. Yes, part two. Yeah, part two. That's one of T's favorites or whatever. I actually came home the other day and she was actually watching it. Home Alone. She's been watching a lot of holiday movies um, for uh, the past, like, a uh, couple days trying to get into the holiday spirit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, my number one. Can we get a drum roll, please? Let me get a drum roll. National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. If you ever seen this one, this one right here is dope. Um, it's a movie. It's with Chevy Chase and his family. Um, they have a couple of movies, National Lampoons. It's very uh, funny, comedy, wholesome. Um, and this one, he trying to get all his family to come for the holidays and he's trying to decorate his house get everybody in the holiday spirit you feel what I'm saying and he's meeting all type of um obstacles and everything just to reach that goal um if I'm not mistaken I haven't seen it in a while I think he kind of was in competition with some of his um neighbors <laughs> to um get the house lit uh, so that was a mission for him. I don't want to get too much. Too much. Yeah. So, so, but uh, check it out. Um, very funny. It's like I said, my number one. Very, very funny. Cult classic. A lot of people like that. Um, like I said, we got a lot that a lot of them that didn't make the cut. See, you can give a couple names. Throw a couple names out there. People that you had in mind that you wanted to get on the cut, but didn't get on the cut. One that I had on the list, but it didn't make the cut. Preacher's wife, the preacher's wife, and yeah. uh, two characters that played in that movie was the late um Whitney Houston, Houston, and Denzel Washington. Yeah, Denzel Washington. Shout out to them, Denzel Washington. <laughs> yeah, Denzel Washington. And also, they have a beautiful soundtrack of that movie. Um, what's another one that didn't make the cut? Um, this the Christmas. Yeah, this Christmas. Um, 
trying to think of another one. Man, it's a couple of them, man. Um, I know it's not considered a Christmas. Well, it is considered a Christmas movie. When I looked up on the list, I saw it. Die Hard. <laughs> they said it's a Christmas movie. So if you've never seen Die Hard, check that out. Um, it's considered a holiday movie. Didn't know that. Um, I'm bringing up once again Gremlins. And they say Gremlins was considered a um, Christmas movie. I see it was. The list. Yeah. Um, you know a nice one that you could have told the people about? That I seen you watching? I see you watching a, a lot of them. Christmas Divas. You have one by um, Ashanti and a Vanessa Williams. Yeah, the new ones with Ashanti, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have a couple with Vanessa Wood. Vanessa Williams, right? Yeah. One with Vanessa yeah, Williams. one with Vanessa Williams. Not bad. And um, I'm trying to think what um, I'm trying to think of another one that I could think of. You want to tell the people about the one that we watched recently? Okay, we um watched Candy King Lane. Yeah. And we're not going to give... No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers because I know a lot of you haven't seen it yet. Yes, yes. But do you... Huh? Do you um recommend that movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. I recommend it. Um, T kept... She was telling me, oh, I want to watch Candy Cane Lane, Candy Cane Lane. And I was trying to make sure we had the mood set right for the perfect time that, you know, Cause you want to watch it, you want to be in the mood to watch it. You know, on that Christmas holiday, you want to be in that holiday spirit to watch it and be comfortable and cozy. So I told her, let's pick the right time to watch it where we can snuggle up and everything and watch it. We wound up watching it. Um, the weather was basically rainy over the whole weekend, cold, cold and rainy. So we snuggled in, um, and we watched it. It, it was pretty dope. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. Um, Eddie Murphy did his thing now. You feel me? He did his thing. Um, major comeback. I feel like it, it. it's tight. Like, I feel like it was one of those that's up there with, um, like I said, with the Christmas Chronicles and stuff like that. Because I think it was like a Netflix original. Yeah. I think it's a Netflix original, like Christmas Chronicles. Um, I think it's going to be a part two. Hopefully it'll be a part two. It looks like it's going to be a part two from how. You know, we saw it. I think it's going to be a, a part two. It's pretty tight, pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. And one more movie that I had on the list that didn't make the cut was Medea's Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She kept talking <laughs> about that, Medea's Christmas. That was one that she was talking about, Medea's Christmas. It'll mm-hmm. have you cracking up. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> very, very funny, Medea's Christmas. Oh. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting one. I can't think. I had another one that was in 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 the clutch, but I just can't think of it right now. Just consider. Um Oh, make sure that y'all I don't know because they have like the old version. Make sure you watch Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. (laughs) Oh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Those are favorites as a kid that we used to watch a lot. So check those out. <laughs> oh, I have one more. Um, a perfect holiday. That's what Gabrielle Union and um oh, Charlie my- Murphy. Huh? Gabrielle Union and Charlie Murphy. Oh, Charlie Murphy is in that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The late Charlie Murphy. Ain't Omar Epps in that too? Omar Epps, no. No, he not in that one. Makai Pfeiffer? No, Makai Pfeiffer is not in that one. He's not in that one either. It's uh, Gabrielle Union, um, Charlie Murphy, and who else is in there? Who else? I think that's it. Well, that I can remember. Okay. Well, that's pretty dope. So, I guess. That concludes our top 10 holiday. I say Vlogmas top 10, right? We say Vlogmas top 10? Yeah, Vlogmas top 10. Um, 
we got a couple more videos, a couple more stuff coming up. Like I said, we're trying to balance it, work and everything. We almost close to getting to the our Christmas vacation. Um, that time off of work. So we'll try to really go in um, around that time and give you give y'all content. We're gonna try to see, you know what I'm saying, we can slide some places for the holidays. Um I think we're gonna, you know, hold down the fort down here in the MIA. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere for Christmas any traveling at least as far as now we have made any plan so we're gonna hold down the fort and um like i said try to find some nice thing to, to go to to vlog about so if y'all know anything that y'all want to see us vlog about over the christmas break that you might be interested all at us um comment down below comment down below also if um Y'all want to see us go more live like this, you know what I'm saying? And our podcast type of vibe, you know, bum, 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 bum. let us know. Leave a comment down in the comment section. You know, we'll set up time where we'll go live. Like I said, me and T going to try to see if we can start going live on Saturdays and Sundays. You know, it'll be occasionally Saturdays and Sundays because we have to rotate around work. So, you know, we're going to call it the Stuart Cox Family Game Saturdays and Sundays. We'll check in with the people, you know. Drop a video, you know, drop a live. We probably go live, you know, so we can kick it with, with our Stuart Cox game family out there, you know, sit in and just, we can sit, chat, talk and chat, talk and chat, talk about different things, you know, maybe stuff that's going around the world or whatever, whatever the people out there want to chat about, we can do that. Um, so, until then. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. One more thing. Okay. Remember, guys, our one wish that your girl D and your boy D, your girl T, <laughs> she's tripping, she's tripping. and your boy D, she, she won't be my skin. Want for Christmas <laughs> is my two front T. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. Subscribers. Comments. Comment. Likes. Like. That's it. Just support. That's all we want. Yeah. Just support. That's all. Like, so, comment, folks. subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Right? Like, mm -hmm. comment, subscribe. And share. And share. That's a big thing. Share, share, share. And also, go to our Instagram. Like I said, we have the Stuart Cox family Instagram. Um, On there, you'll see when we're getting ready to drop content Um, so far. We're just doing Instagram. We haven't did Facebook yet. Um, We'll probably do a Facebook page. We're also looking into Snapchat. We're going to try to... Is it Snapchat? TikTok. Yeah, Snapchat and TikTok. We're going to try to get into that. Maybe Twitter too. But for right now, we're doing um um YouTube and um, Instagram. So check out the Stuart Cox Family Gang um, Instagram page. Like I said, follow us on there. If you haven't followed us yet on there, and you're just following us here, checking in, tuning in what we're doing. Um, Go there. And I'll uh, have you keeping up with um what we got going on um all the new giveaways that we're going to be having coming up in the future um like i said content you can stay connected with us any questions any information that you might want to ask or need you know being part of the Stuart Cox family gang um you can get in contact with us there um so that's about it anything else t that's all that's all so all y'all so far be careful out there we love y'all have happy holidays and get ready for a happy new year and like t always say we love you love you all right peace peace i'll let y'all on the flip side what